My name is Yolo Akili Robinson. I am the Executive Director of BEAM, the Black Emotional and Mental Health Collective. BEAM is a national training and technical assistance organization. We train individuals, organizations, and grassroots movements on how to implement healing justice and social justice informed mental health strategies into their work. BEAM is built on the premise that we just can't rely on mental health workers to help our communities heal. We need to also build up the mental health literacy and healing education of everyone in our communities, and that this will help us support ourselves, each other, and get us connected to the care that we need. BEAM's work is important to me because I have seen what happens in our communities when we don't focus on healing justice and mental health. I've seen it in the context of the HIV AIDS pandemic. I've seen it in the context of substance use challenges in our community. I've seen it in the context of domestic violence, all these different pieces. And for me, as a member of the community, as someone who's been impacted by that lack of awareness of those issues, I've suffered and I've also watched people around me suffer. And I realized that as I got further into my work and my career that some of this was unnecessary. Some of this was because we didn't have the skills and the tools to understand that things could be different. That we could create community organizing spaces differently. That we could structure programs and systems differently. But BEAM's work is uh, to improve black people's mental health literacy and access to mental and emotional health care and support, and that can't happen in a vacuum. We need more visible and supported pathways for black people to enter into the men mental health profession. So BEAM's work helps to dismantle and give tools to folk across platforms, right? So it's across, it's professional, it's, it's leadership, it is directly in the community, and then very specifically, it's also addressing some of the issues that black men have. During slavery, showing signs of depression or anxiety or other mental illness often resulted in beating or other abuse, and that forced many slaves uh, to hide the issues that they were experiencing. And over time, strength became equated with survival and weakness, uh, weakness like mental illness, right? And that meant that you might not survive. And that stigma still exists today. I learned that black mental health, the issues so are different than other populations. Things like masculinity or femininity or you know, pop, like the transgender population, those intersect with mental health differently than they do with the rest of the population. And so when you, so therefore you need to develop unique tools to address them. I don't care if you're an organizer, if you're an advocate, if you're a politician, if you're a teacher, you're an educator, our tools and trainings are saying, whatever space you are in, you can take these pieces into, your, into that space and help alleviate harm. It's about, giving our communities the skills that we need to be able to support and heal ourselves. That's at the core of what BEAM is about. 